Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is me, The Plant Bender. Today's video is a great video, especially for my new plant parent. I will be going over five of some of my favorite, common, easy to care for house plants that can be found pretty much at any local big box store and they are very affordable, so stay tuned. The first plant on today's list is something that I think everyone's pretty familiar with in the plant community. And she is just hanging right here. And that is the Heartleaf Philodendron. This beauty right here is gorgeous. As you can see, she is so long. I've cut her probably 20, 30 times since I've had her. I've had her for probably about two years now. Um, she just kind of lives in the window here. She gets almost direct sun daily. As you can tell right now, in my apartment, it's pretty bright in here. I do have a light on, but this is pretty much natural lighting in my apartment here. Uh, great thing about these things, the propagation of them. So easy to propagate. Give them a little cut here at the little nodes. These are some aerial roots growing. Stick them in some water. Most of mine root in a matter of like a week or two there. Very easy to care for. I usually just water her when she's dry. Because she is in the window, she does dry out really fast. Here in my apartment, especially during the summer, I am in Pennsylvania and this summer has been insane. High 90s, so definitely a lot of water. I think I paid, the price tag might actually still be on her. So I paid $20 for her about two years ago and she was about half this size. So all of this is new growth. She was about just the normal hanging pot. Got her in my local Lowe's and she has just been thriving here. Second plant. This one may not be as common, um, but I think it kind of is. And that would be a string of hearts. Now, I know she looks a little weird. She only has three little vining things coming down, but she is gorgeous. I'm gonna see if I can get her all in a in frame here. So she is, I am short, but here she is. Um, I am five, six from the pot. She's way past me. So her vines are probably almost about almost six feet. I've also cut her a bunch of times. I'm usually cutting her about every month because right now she is touching my floor when she's hanging in the window. They are kind of a succulent type, you know, variety of plants. So I do let her dry out a lot. She also has very bulbous roots. So she holds a lot of water. So it is easy to overwater them. So I definitely use a moisture meter when I first got her. Now I kind of know when she's dry and how she likes to go. She has flowered with me a bunch and I'm pretty sure when I bought her, let me see if I can find where the first cutting was. When I first got it, she was right here. So she was from the pot to here. And that is where she was when I got her. And I believe I paid probably like $20 for her. I got her kind of at the height of the pandemic when prices were pretty expensive, especially for heart, um, yeah, especially for string of hearts. So now I, th I see them at my town going for like 10 bucks, you know, $12, depending on where you go. Um, so that definitely string of hearts, highly recommend. If you want something that's kind of cool, kind of different looking here. I do tend to step on her a lot when I open up my blinds in my window. So I do feel bad because like I said, she is on the ground. Third plant here. This is the Cebu Blue or Cebu Blue, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Um, it is kind of part of the Pothos family here. Gorgeous, I'm gonna show you these leaves here. These gorgeous, these leaves are beautiful here. Um, it does kind of have a blue tint to it as it matures, as it gets older. I have two of these, actually, this is my larger one. I have a much smaller one here. I have also had to cut this one a lot and she still just keeps growing. She does live in a window also. So that definitely is aiding in the growth here. She's pretty heavy and most likely will need repotted soon. I've just been kind of avoiding it because I want to keep her hanging and she's already in a pretty large pot. And so putting her in a bigger pot is going to be a process. This one, I believe, uh, price tag, uh, I took the price tag off. And I believe this was $19.98, $20 too. And I got her, I want to say beginning of summer. 
Uh, my local Lowe's usually doesn't have these, but got a couple of these in. And I already had one that I actually had to order online because I could not find them locally. But lucked into this beauty here and she has just been thriving. I do think I'm gonna put her on a moss pole because I do want her to, you know, get fenestrations and kind of get those big mature leaves that they usually don't get while they're hanging, but we'll see because that is going to be a process in itself, unfortunately. <laughs> Moving on. This is probably my favorite plant in my collection. Common house plant. I have some great rare philodendrons and things, but this plant here I think is gorgeous. And that is the neon pothos. This is, I think, this is one of my first plants when I started my plant journey, my plant collection, was this. I got this and it had four little leaves and a little teeny nursery pot at the beginning of the pandemic. This thing has just been going crazy and living its best life. I found, I've repotted it twice now because its roots are insane. It has a way bigger root system than the size of the plant, which is crazy. Um, this pot is pretty much filled with roots up here. She gets cut back a lot also. She is thriving. She did start to variegate or essentially turn back to her regular dark green spot. If you can see, I have a couple leaves that have started kind of reverting back to the dark green and I do like that. I have cut off some of the leaves that really went green because I don't want to lose this gorgeous kind of lime green color here. When I bought this, I believe I spent she was actually a little expensive because I got her from, oh, and I just ripped the leaf out. I actually bought her from a nursery and not a big box store. However, I do know that our big box stores now do have neon pothos. Um, I bought her from a local nursery and she was kind of expensive. I think I paid like almost $20 for a couple leaves. Again, that was kind of the height of the crazy plantness. And I live in a very small town, unfortunately, and we have one plant shop in the entire town besides our local big box stores. So they kind of can make their own prices. And I had to pay it a little bit more than what I should have for her, but I don't regret it because I love it. Final plant here. Now this one could be a little controversial for some. I know for me it's, it is. And the only reason I own this plant is because it was on clearance when I bought it. And I've killed probably 50 of them before of every different type but for some reason this one is thriving and is just getting so big and that is this begonia here uh ignore the pot i know we don't talk about that company um this is just a pot i had from previously and she needs to be repotted so this is my begonia as you can see she's huge like i'm gonna stand but like She's huge. She's gorgeous. She's beautiful. She is starting to drop a lot of leaves because it is coming into fall winter time here. Also, I think she's just getting so big that she's dropping a lot. Um, but this is the only begonia I've ever been allowed. I've ever been able to keep alive. I have had begonias and I look at them and they just die. Everyone always tells me, oh, they're so easy. My mom has begonias that she buys and just puts outside during the summer and they thrive, they flower. I will give mine the best conditions and they just die. This one though, bought it on clearance. I think it was $4.99 and it was about half this size. So take off about half of this. And this just lives on my kitchen table. Gets, some, gets decent sunlight there and it's just thriving. It's honestly getting too big for my kitchen. So I'm probably gonna have to cut it down or figure out what I wanna do with it because it is getting kind of big and it does kind of take up so much space with all of these branches here. So, you know, we will see, but this super easy to care for. I just make sure she's white. You know, I keep her water. She does suck up a lot of water though, especially since she's been putting out a bunch of new growth here. Almost every day I'm waking up and like new leaves are popping out. She does pull, you know, suck up a lot of water. So I am kind of watering her fast. She is in a pot that doesn't have drainage holes. So I thought I would have to worry about that, but honestly, she sucks up so much water. I probably underwater her. And like I said, she was on clearance, but I think full price, these are like probably like 19, 20 bucks. You know, the big box stores usually hover around that price. So that is that. And that, my friends, are some of my, my favorite five kind of common house plants that you can get at your local big box store that's not going to break the bank, that give you beautiful leaves, 
that are stunning, great conversation pieces, great propagation starters that you can propagate very easily there. And thank you for coming to my channel.